<laughs> it's Greg and Fred. We are backstage at the, uh, the Stable Center getting ready for the 59th Annual Grammy Awards. Mike Posner here, Grammy nominee. Good to see you again. You too, brother. So you were here last year, literally a year ago. It was your birthday. You performed in this room. Do you remember doing that? Of course. And it was like one of the first times I had ever heard the song, I Took a Pill in the Visa. Yeah. It was the stripped down version. Yeah. And, and look at you, a year later. Blew up. Nominated. And nominated, man. Pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty surreal. Pretty surreal. Grammy's on my birthday this year, Sunday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, then you know what that means, right? You're gonna win. <laughs> we'll see. You're gonna we'll win. See. If it's meant to be, it will be. Exactly. You know. So, yeah, um, yeah it was your birthday, which was amazing, and, and uh, they actually brought you a, a cake here. They sure did. Yeah. Big cake. They sure was, did. It was a lot of fun. So uh, last time we had the radio station, you did a thing for our sister station, and um, one of the one of the the people on the street team actually took you to. Springfield, Massachusetts. That's right. It was a two-hour drive, so you could launch your album. Do you remember doing that thing? Mm -hmm. To the air, right? So yeah, we sort of uh, we sort of stole her. Yeah, and, you did. And the station car. Kidding she, a little she bit. came back to the station. She goes, "You're not going to believe what just happened." I'm like, "What?" I had to drive Mike Posner to Springfield, Mass, and you can tell everybody why what you guys did out there. Well, we had these really talented guys from I think WPI Worcester R Polytech. Yeah, Worcester Polytech. Yeah, um, what's that? Rob. Robert, what what are the engineers name that sent the album to space? At Worcester Polytech. Mm -hmm. Racy Stepanovich. Yeah, Racy Stepanovich. <laughs> he's brilliant and he's genius, guys. So you and launched the album, right? Yeah, it was Robert's idea who just said that. And he said, Let's literally drop your album from space. So these these kids they figured out they built this the big weather balloon and attached our album to it. And they shot it up there. Wow! And uh, and got all these cameras, to, you know, and it was a whole thing. If the cameras get too cold and all this stuff, they had to figure out, and then to get it back when it comes down, you know, because the Earth turns and sure. <laughs> those brainiacs can figure that stuff out. Uh, yeah. Where did it come down? You know, I wasn't there when it came down. <laughs> How high uh, did it go? Dude? I had to go do your guys' show, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, night. But Racy, they found it, w it landed, I believe, on like a farmer's property. That's crazy. And and he was very gracious to them and let them like climb his tree and fish this thing, cool. fish this thing that's out wild. of there. Yeah, that's unreal. So yeah. you, you can see the video online if you want to go check. Yeah, it it's out, cool. Right? It's cool. So uh, we did uh, we do this thing called the the mixed beach house every year, and this year we had Chris Martin come. And he played for maybe, you know, 100 people. It's really cool, intimate that, event that yeah. we do. Uh, mm -hmm. So one of the tunes he, d he does is your cover. He covers your song, Took a Pill in Ibiza. Yeah. And, and so he cool. played that tune. And I guess he, that's like his favorite song or one of his favorite songs ever. Yeah, I saw a video of that, and it was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, so you saw the video while he, while he was up on the deck at this beach yeah, house doing that. Totally. What'd I you saw think it. Of that? Yeah. I, was, uh, I was blown away, you yeah, know. that's an honor. He actually... Um, yeah, he he's been very vocal about his his he hasn't been shy about sharing his praise for for that song his of love mine. for that yeah yeah which is I don't know it's very sweet of him and he's obviously a songwriter that that I am a fan of sure and um, someone whose music I like I respect so when you hear that from you know someone so, his stature, someone yeah who? someone who you like it means a lot you know so, sometimes people have a lot of stature but you don't really like their stuff right right <laughs> you know and that that doesn't really matter to you yeah, you know yeah, so, oh they yeah. like my song yeah. but he is someone that i really am a fan of and uh i'll just add to that we had but we both had we're in columbus at the same time and he had my entire band to the show he ate dinner with us just oh, wow. him and the band and talked to us and Shared his wisdom and advice, and uh, he's just That's a, very cool. a, a good guy, man. A good guy. So, is there a song like that that you haven't written that you're like in love with? Like, he is in love with that song there that uh, you can think off the top of your head. The top oh, of the there's a hundred of them, <laughs> but th I mean, a million of them, you know. But, um, the what I'm listening to right now is a, is a guy from the UK named Muramasa, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And I've just been listening to the whole albums, I think it's two albums. I, I don't. When I get really into artists, I don't really look at the track titles. I just listen to the whole album. Right. So, yeah, Muramasa. So you got a book coming out, we hear. Yes, my first book of poetry wow. is titled Teardrops and Balloons, and it comes out March 17th. Very Very cool. down, man. And my day. manager said to tell him, you can pre-order it now All right. on my website. Go get it. Go get that book. It'll make a perfect gift. Now, I got to ask. You book. can also get the audio book really? on Audible. Do you read it? Um, 
Yes, I, I do. So. I do, and I made a lot of new music in sonic landscaping behind the the audio book, oh, cool. and we have features on the audio book. Um, and the third option is you can neither pre-order it nor <laughs> order it nor <laughs> nor listen to the audio book. That's also an option. Yeah, so just don't do anything with it. Yeah, so. just if you if this sounds like. A whole bunch of crap to you. <laughs> Just ignore us. Don't ignore it. <laughs> Just, don't do anything. Don't Thanks lift God. a finger. So, uh, Mike Poster, thank you for stopping by. You're nominated for Song of the Year at the Grammys. You're rocking the green hair. It looks awesome. Now, will we thank see this you. on the red carpet on, on Monday, on uh, Sunday night? Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah. You got a speech planned if you win it? No. No. Think about Just that. Just tell one of your poems, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe. Mike Posner. Sunday night. Good luck. We wish you the, wish Thank you the you best. Thank you, brother. And always a pleasure to see you. Continue. Yeah, get a mic. Too. Thank you.